All righty, we're going to just start on our backs. We're going to open up the thoracic spine, opening up the intercostal muscles between the ribs. Really nice practice if you've been at the desk and a bit like this all day. And I'm going to get you to take a double breath in and then like a balloon deflating, just let the breath go. So when we breathe in, pull the breath behind your ears into the back of your head. It's sort of like a... And then... So you do a double breath. So you, you inflate your lungs and then inflate a bit more and then let the breath go. So we're going to be on our backs. I'm going to put a bolster underneath where the bra strap is. Um, have a go with that. If you've got a bolster, you might need at least a blanket underneath your head and underneath your bottom. If it feels too high, roll up one of your blankets instead. And that's that's really good. Just a little bit of height can be enough. So we just roll onto our backs. Now the prop is where your shoulders are. So it's not underneath your back. We're not going into a bridge. We're going into a chest opening stretch. I'm just gonna pop a blanket under my head so the angle isn't quite so strong. The idea is to have a 45 degree smooth angle through the chest. Chin is up for this so we get a stretch through the front of our neck. And if it's okay on your shoulders, arms out to the side or maybe arms above the head, it's quite a big stretch on these pectoral muscles. So if that's too much, if you have extra pillows off the sofa, drop them underneath your forearms so your arms are not dropping back so deeply or just hands on belly like so. But if this is open for you, it's a very nice way to gently stretch into these muscles that can get really bunchy and tight. And I'm gonna get you to do whatever feels good with your feet and your knees. So maybe knees out to the side, maybe just sliding feet away. If that's too much on your back, keep the knees bent. And we're doing the double breath in. <laughs> And then just letting it go. So it's like you're gathering all the rushing and the doing, you're breathing in. And then you just go, release. Spread those ribs apart. See if you can make the exhalation a bit noisy, a bit of a sigh, and let it go. Ah. 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 Holding the top of the inhalation just for a beat, just for a moment, and then let the exhalation just let it go out of the lungs. Ah. Good. So just a few breaths here. Then shuffle your prop down underneath your pelvis. Now, if it's comfortable on your head, take your prop away so that's not under your head. Chin draws back in towards your ears and into the ground here. Give your back a little massage. So the stretch into the lumbar spine. And then take your feet one at a time up towards the ceiling. Take your arms up and just massage your feet and your hands around, so getting into the ankles and into the wrists. That's it. Now take a nice deep breath in and sigh the breath out. And as you do so, wriggle your jaw from side to side. Ah. So we're going to make this a really nice and noisy practice. Lots of low vibrational sound on the exhalations. Other direction with the feet, with the hands. Ah, another moment to really let the muscles around your eyes soften. The eyeballs start to feel really heavy in the sockets. Beautiful. Now bring your toes back towards you. Push your the heels of your hands away from you as you bring your fingers towards you. And then point fingers and toes and then pull them back. Point them. So you're just getting to wrists, any kind of RSI, I want to get rid of that, and warm up 
through the calf muscles a bit, pointing, pulling, pointing, pulling. Now, turn your toes out with your heels together, rub the outside of your legs, and then drift your toes towards your eyes and rub the back of your legs, and press your pelvis down into your bolster. It's gonna improve the stretch on the hamstrings. And then drift the toes out again, heels are together, Charlie Chaplin. And then drifting the feet back towards each other again. Good. Just let those feet come a little bit closer towards your head. So going a deeper stretch into the back of the legs. Get the back of the legs a little kind of flick down towards your bum with the insertion pointers with the hamstrings. And notice how when you're in this position, you can increase your exhalation, the length of the exhalation. <sighs> And then arms back up towards the feet. Just let the arms and legs hang in the socket. So really heavy. And then I'm just going to get you to start to jiggle your fingers and jiggle into the balls of the feet and then into the wrists and into the ankles. So just a little jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So the jiggling starts to vibrate down your legs, down your arms. And then you might make the jiggling a bit bigger so it goes into your elbows, and into your knees, and then down to your thighs, and to your upper arms, and dribble your jaw. So your face is jiggling. I go, uh, 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 drop. So that's us. As a gazelle, we run away from the lion, and we got safety, and then we just shook away all the adrenaline. Now we're like, oh, good, parasympathetic nervous system, we can eat the grass. Oh, let's just take that bolster away and place it under the feet. Nice wide feet here for a moment. And just let your knees swish from side to side. So you're massaging from one side of the pelvis to the other like that. And then maybe arms out to the side as well. So you can start to take the knees a little bit further across and slow it down. So we are going up into the lower back here, so slow it down. And then gently start to press the inside of the top knee down a tiny bit towards your bolster and then up onto the other side. So those just joining, if you don't have a bolster, don't worry, put your feet on the ground up and over, but nice wide feet, as wide as your mat, up and over. So this is going into the supporious muscle, the, the longest muscle in the body. So we'll pause here, inside of that top knee, gently pressing down, the muscle attaches there, goes right across the thigh, right up into the pelvis. Maybe just turn in your head a moment, have a little swish of the head. And then split the knees. We get a little bit of an opening into the inner thighs and drop to the other side. Gentle pressure down through the inside of the top knee. Good. And then just kick that bolster away for a moment. Feet on the ground. Push the heels into the ground and let your bum come up a little bit. So just a little lift off the ground and then roll back down. So you can feel a nice massage into the back, into the lumbar spine, a little bit of activation through your bum muscles. And then inch your way up the spine so you can almost feel the vertebra pulling apart as you come up, a little kind of a whoop, 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 up the spine and coming up. And up, oh, right up towards the shoulders, massaging into the shoulders. And let's just pause here for a moment and then draw the shoulders towards each other under the body. So you're kind of squeezing shoulders towards each other, draw the elbows towards each other. Now just listen to my voice, don't turn your head. We don't want to move our head when we're in this position. Palms down on the ground. If you can easily interlace your hands underneath you, do that, but no pushing right now. Forearms pressing into the ground and just bending your knees away from you. So you want to stretch these psoas muscles. Send the knees away from you. So it feels like 
your knees are running away to the opposite side of the room. And take some breaths where it feels like you're stretching your chest across to your shoulders. And then just slide the shoulders nice and wide again, arms nice and wide, and shimmy down, very slowly shimmy down, one vertebra at a time, so we're peeling, backwards peeling down onto the ground, and bring the knees up into the chest, and just rock gently from side to side. So get a nice massage across the lower back and the sacrum area. And then make this rocking a little bit bigger. And then rock yourself all the way over into a twist. Now, if your knees don't come all the way down, you can get your balls to do that. Otherwise, I'll put a blanket here. I can just slide a blanket underneath my knees. So you just want the knees to rest on something, if not the ground. Ah, take a moment. It's just a little flushing rinse, and then we'll split the knees and we'll come up on over to the other side for a little rinse on the side. Maybe even hand very gently on the knee. And then let's do that dynamically, just kind of split the knees. And then take yourself into a big stretch. Imagine you're on bed, you're just like, oh. So you bend the knees to one side. Oh, give yourself a nice stretch. And then in the other direction, one knee, then the other, and then a oh, big stretch. So getting a lovely twist right here in that thoracic spine. I'm taking one hand above the head. Oh, let's do that one more time on each side. Maybe even taking that top leg out. Oh, pressing out through the heel, that feels nice. Ah, loose jaw on the exhalation. Wriggle it, loosen it, and then taking the knees, splitting them, and maybe kicking out that top leg. Oh. I like to imagine there are little screws on the bottom jaw, and every time I exhale, the screws are being unwound, and the lower jaw is just kind of dropping. One more little bit. Ah, that's good. Okay, so take the knees up, split the knees, and just give yourself a nice massage around through the hip joints. Like that. Lovely big circles, mobilizing those hip joints. And if you have stiff hips, it's quite nice to visualize, if you're a visual person, that you've got nice water just sloshing around the hip joints. So... Imagine the synovial fluid is just lovely, sloshy, lubricating around the joints there. And then bring the right foot on top of the left knee and just gently bring that left knee in. I like to rock slightly from side to side so it's not just static here. A little rock and maybe even a little circle massaging around the sacrum, so the back of your pelvis, where you have that sort of triangle bone that connects both sides of the pelvis, just around that, and massaging around, side to side, circling. And then go back to side to side and just kind of window wipe yourself right over. A little bit further over. Keep bringing the knee up so it's still going right into that, that glute. You've got the glute stretch happening. And then come, this is my right foot on top of my left knee. I'm coming over to the left. I'm letting that left foot just drop down. And then right foot drops, not onto the ground, just near it. So you get a much deeper stretch into that right glute area. Maybe even turn the head over to the right side. Ah, good, and then coming back, let's just loosen that leg up, give it a shake, swap sides, so left ankle on top of right knee, and again, start by little, with little circles around the sacrum, just telling the hip, and guess what, guess what, we're about to stretch you, and then maybe just window wiping from side to side, little massaging action. 
Keep bringing the knee in. And then we'll take the foot a little bit closer to the right. So we're getting an increase the velocity of your rocking. And then see if you can drop that right foot to the ground. Oof, little toe edge. And then the stretch here is a lot stronger. So these guys can take it. These are big muscle groups. Knee cards so of knees twingy. Don't do this one. Ah, that's good. Give that a little shake, shake, shake. Let's take our knees into our chest. Give ourselves a little hug here and just massage right around one direction, other direction, and then up and down across all of the spine. Get a little bit of momentum here. Oh, all the way up. Good. If you've got your bolster here, just let yourself fold forward, head drop. Take a moment where uh, you're out rounding your spine. I don't normally round the spine, but I am now. So just a nice relax here for a moment. Uh, now we want to breathe into the lower lobes of the back of the lungs. So take a moment to think where you want to send your breath and see if you can actually get a bit of a a kind of rolling, a, an ocean rolling wave-like movement now as you breathe a bit more deeply. And then just come up and take the hands and pull the hands down the thighs and lift the heart center, lift the chin. And then slide your hands down to your knees and go back into the rounded spine. And then pull the hands, lift the heart and then lift the chin. And then the other direction. And then inhale to pull and lift, exhale round. Breathe in, breathe out like a train. Huh. Start to release your exhalation with a bit of noise, a bit of a ha sound. And let the inhale just be pulled into your lungs, almost of its own accord. Huh. Huh. Ha. Ha. Pull the heart forward. Ha. 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 Beautiful. Slowly come up and just take a moment to place your head bang on top of your neck. Oh, I'm just going to turn around here so I can, can see you guys. Take a moment. And then I'm going to get you to roll your upper body and your head around. And then take your mind into your pelvis and see if you can kind of rock from one sitting bone to the other. As you roll around, you're pressing onto one side of the pelvis and then the other. So the undulation, the rolling movement starts at the head and the shoulders and rolls right down through the spine and into your pelvis and then imagine it corkscrewing right down into the center of the earth and those of you who know the buzzy bee breath see if you can start to hum out your exhalations See how many circles you can do on one long buzzy breathe, breath, breath, buzzy bee breath out. Good. And then stop. Good unwind. So start with the head and the shoulders in the other direction. See if you can drop your shoulders, lift them. We want a bit of a figure of eight for the shoulders. And then imagine that movement flowing in a spiral down your spine and into your pelvis and then start to press one sitting bone then the other so you're circling through the hips as well and maybe even adding that low vibrational sound it is one of those instant ways to activate the vagus nerve to get on top of anxiety, to get on top of sensations of pain, 
to help just calm the nervous system down. Oh, good. And slowly coming back up, I'm going to get you to take your fingertips onto your clavicles here, drop your chin right in, and then breathe in, slowly breathe in through the back of your nostrils. As you pull your fingers down over your clavicles, slightly down towards your chest. And then go, ha, ah, release the breath. So you're pushing down and in with your fingers as you slowly lift your chin, stretching the scalings. Ah, almost like a balloon dropping. One more gentle lift and stretch. Ah, fantastic. Now, we know that if we create soft fingers and wrists and elbows, that movement can flow up into the shoulders. This can be one of the nicest ways just to release tension in the shoulders. And as we start to lose mobility as we age in the upper body area, doing movement that's really soft with fingers and wrists is a great idea to get into the shoulders. So, you know, imagine you're karate kidding and you're doing paint on, paint off, paint on, paint off. And then see if you can do that kind of action out to the sides, with the back of your fingers, with the front of your fingers, going into your elbows. You just notice that lovely roll of your upper back and shoulders. Pain on, pain off, pain on, pain off, pain on, pain off. Beautiful. Take the hands out to the side. Breathe in, take the hands all the way up, grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand. And then start to pull the hand up towards the ceiling, then slightly over to the side. And what we want to do is feel like the whole rib cage is lifting away from the pelvis and that the ribs are fanning out to the side. A little lateral stretch. And so I bring the elbows down. And then flow back up again and take hold of the other wrist, pull it up towards the ceiling, rib cage, drawing up away from the pelvis, a little side bend. And you want to breathe deeply into this area. So imagine your breath is pushing the muscles, the intercostal muscles apart between your ribs. Good. I'm going to get into the shoulders a bit more. So take the right arm and keep it relatively straight and take it across the body. Keep the shoulders down, lock it into place with the other arm so you're below the elbow. And then if you're here, drop your shoulders down. That's it. Now, gently pull out with the straight arm and pull in gently with the bent arm. So we're looking for the stretch here in the back of the shoulder into the top of the arm. So if you are here, please imagine you have little fishing weights on the base of your shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades are being pulled down your back. And then see if you can take your ear, your right ear, and, and allow your ear to imagine it's being pulled up towards the ceiling. So a very gentle lift through the side of your ear, up towards the ceiling, getting into the side of your neck. Ah, sigh the breath out, let your lower jaw release. And then very gently open the arms, palms forward, and lift the heart and draw the shoulders down. Pause here for a moment, a couple of breaths, stretching the chest muscles. That's the way. Now take this left arm across, keep it straight, lock it into place below the elbow with your bent right arm. Gently push the left arm out as you pull the right arm in. And then let that left ear be gently tugged up towards the ceiling. And again, sigh the breath out, loosen the lower jaw. See if you can create a really soft face. Wonderful, and slowly open the arms up and let those shoulders have a little wobble. And then drop down. Take the right leg out to the side. Let me get my props out of the way. 
and pull your toes back. So we're looking for a stretch here into the inner thigh. If you find that sitting like this makes you drop back into the back of your sitting bones and you, you lose your core, take your blanket, fold it, maybe take two blankets, and you want to put the edge just underneath your sitting bones. So your pubic bone is dropping down. Pubic bone is not on the on the um, blanket, but your sitting bones are lifted. And if you had a tail, your tail would be dropping out behind you on top of the blanket. And then see if you can just do a little, another stretch, a little uh, lateral stretch up over to the side. That's it. And then we're gonna flow in the other direction. So very fluid with the breath. So every time, you breathe out, you flow in this direction, and every time you breathe in to open up the ribs, you come here. And it's almost like your seaweed just flowing with the current. Breathing in and breathing out, and maybe even reaching with your hands to increase the stretch, maybe even lengthening down to touch into the ground. And see if you can pull your toes back towards you when you breathe in and do your lateral stretch here. We'll pause here for a moment. And then this time, take the hand onto the ground, push the floor away, and see if you can launch yourself up away from the ground. So the whole body's stretching, fingers to toes. Fabulous. Now stay here, take that hand up towards the ceiling, right hand up towards the ceiling, palm forward. And then just swivel your head so you're looking at the ground, stretching into the chest, pushing the knee into the ground, the shin into the ground, and maybe taking this top arm, and if it's okay on your shoulder, a big rotation backwards with the hand. Keep looking at the ground, slowly flow down, and take that right foot behind you so it's in a zigzag shape, like so. You might need to take your blanket away. And we're just going to get the right glute activating. So we're going to squeeze just the right glute, squeeze it. And the ball and socket joint is rolling forward. So again, we're going to that rotation of the hip joint. So rolling the femur, the thigh bone, in the hip joint like that. So now we're going to start the spiral from the pelvis and go upwards. So as we start the spiral here, then it goes into the pelvis, we spiral up the spine and then come into a twist, looking over the shoulder and then just let it go. We'll do it again. So rolling forward, a little pressure through the knee downwards, spiraling up, 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 up to the crown of the head. Now release it a little bit, come out of it a little bit, See if you can lean over your left knee and then see if you can roll your right knee inwards. So you almost come towards the top of your thigh here and, and hopefully your foot comes up off the ground. And if it does, yeah, if you can do that, see if you can take the palm of your right hand with your shoulder in the back of the socket and grab hold of the big toe edge of your foot. Yeah, so I've started with my zigzag, rolled forward, see if you can get the palm of your hand onto the big toe edge of your foot. That's it, Emma, perfect. And then if you can do this, see if you can straighten your arm and gently push your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot. So now we're getting a stretch, quite a strong stretch along here, the lung one meridian. And if you're easily doing that, turn your head over your left shoulder as well. Ah, keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. And if that's not working, you grab hold of whatever you can grab hold of. And then just drop that down. Good. Take that foot in, interlace hands on the outside of the knee and just pull yourself up. Shoulders are down, head is resting on top of the neck, spine nice and tall, back is active, like that. And then just, Gently, as you pull your hands in, you pull your knee in towards you, gently start to 
push across your body, so towards the left, just a little bit, and turn your head. We'll do all sorts of twisting movements tonight. It's kind of compressing everything back in. So we'll do that on the other side. Take the, uh, the left foot out. And again, if you need the blanket underneath your sitting bones, grabbing that. Just doing some nice big stretches on big muscle groups so that we can sleep better. And once you're here, allow yourself just to flow. So this is getting more into that, the, uh, the different muscle fibers that we have in the body. Some respond to held stretches, some respond to strengthening, and some really need fluid movement. All of this kind of movement is fabulous for hydrating the body. Oh, pull the toes back. Let's just pause here for just a fraction. And then we're going to go into that lift. So palm down, point the toe. Now, if it doesn't work on your wrist, you stay here. If it's okay on your wrist, you push yourself up. And you pull your toes and your fingers apart. We want to hydrate the fascial system under the skin surface. Maybe even take this hand up towards the ceiling and swivel your head so you're looking down, getting into that chest stretch. If you're fine here, take a big circle backwards. Oh, so a really nice mobilization of the shoulder joint and then slowly slow down. Keep looking at the ground. Take the foot behind you and so is muscle. So this, this is the guy that gets so tight when we do lots of sitting. So we want to release it by squeezing the glute and internally rotating and then releasing. So we're rolling forward and releasing. As you roll forward, a bit of pressure through the inside of that left knee. So rolling forward and then turn it into the twist. So it starts from the roll, then the pressure, and then it spirals upwards through the body. One more of those. Oh. Ah. Okay, let it go a little bit. We'll come into that um, another stretch here. So let yourself just kind of tip over this right knee. You might need to change your orientation slightly. See if you can roll the hip forward again and take your foot off the ground like that. And if it works, take the palm of your hand behind you onto the big toe edge. You start with a bent elbow. And the idea is to try and straighten the arm a, a bit more. And then you're not pushing the foot into the hand, but you're just kind of letting the foot drop backwards, but you're resisting with the hand. And then maybe turning the head. So this is quite a strong stretch into these pectoral muscles. Ah, release your face ah, as you sit with the stretch. And then just let that go. Ooh, let's just come onto our knees for a moment here. I'm going to grab my bolster. Onto the knees and then give yourself a stretch. So if you have got a bolster, hands on bolster. So we Open up the undersides of the arms and into the armpits, into the lymph nodes here. Breathing into the lower lobes of the back of your lungs. So lovely deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. Now try pulling your bolster towards you and just dropping your chest, just above your boobs, up here onto the clavicles, onto your bolster. Head dropping down, forearms on the other side of the bolster, bum high, and just kind of rest here. Now if it feels okay on your inner thighs, this is quite a big stretch, so just, just inch into it. We're like a water boatman. You know, think of those water boatmen that sit on the top of the water, Imagine one of those, and you're just kind of sliding your knees apart, resting here. Ah, exhaling. 
Hmm. You might find the inner knees that can slide a little bit further apart so we don't go past our edge, yeah? So you go towards the stretch and then you pause, you just breathe and you breathe and then you might find that you just slide out a tiny bit more. Hmm. Beautiful. Take your arms onto your prop, pick yourself up, knees together. Just let your hips lift and drop from side to side so we can release into the abductors. I'm going to come onto my forearms here. And then have a little play around with circling the pelvis. So if you had a pencil coming out of your tummy button, you'd be drawing circles on your mat. And then slide the pelvis in the other direction. Beautiful. Just take a moment in child pose. So if you find your bum is not coming down towards your ankles, take your bolster and put it between your bum and your heels here. And then come into your version of child pose. Yeah. So it might be one hand on top of the other, it might be one fist on top of the other. If you can easily reach your forehead to the ground and it's comfortable. Maybe do that hands down by your feet. But wherever your head is, see if you can rock gently on your forehead. And you know, like Frankenstein, what you want to do is push, push the mat onto your forehead so that your eyebrows are pushing down towards your eyes and you're kind of getting a Frankenstein sensation and rocking gently across the third eye point, so between your eyebrows, kind of pulling down and giving it a little rock. So stimulating the pituitary gland. And see if you can do a little vibrational exhalation, making a bit of noise, buzzy bee, or just a huh. With the rocking movement very calming on the nervous system. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Good. Slide those hands under the shoulders. Gently, gently, gently push the floor away. Gently coming up onto the knees. So super careful. If you're feeling dizzy, take a moment. And if you're okay, come up onto your knees and feel you take the hands onto the back of the pelvis, elbows towards each other, tuck the toes. Now, this is just about creating space between the vertebra. We don't have to do any big back bends tonight. But imagine you've got a string from the heart center and one from the pubic bone, and those strings are very gently being winched up towards the ceiling. So see if you can create a, a lift and an extension, visualizing the vertebra. Imagine that opening up, elbows towards each other, Taking some sippy breaths to open the chest. This is the, the same as when we're in bridge pose. And now we want to lift the crown of the head. So imagine you have the string attached to the crown of your head. And that string is lifting, 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 up, 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 up. So draw the chin in as soon as you can. 
and then draw the rib cage down. And then just allow yourself to sink back into the kneeling position and take a moment here. As you breathe in, imagine the breath is coming right up that elongated spine. And then as you exhale, the breath is just diffusing down through you, almost like your insides are being melted with the exhalation. So inhale, right up the spine through the crown of the head, through that string that's lifting you. Exhaling. Allow everything to melt. Soften jaw, shoulders, any tension around the belly or the pelvic floor. Breathing in. And softening the breath out. You really want to feel the breath pulsing through the body we'll just do a movement in the moment where the breath is infusing the body making the body move so take the hands together at the heart center and breathe into the heart center and as you breathe in feel the breath expanding through you and use your bum muscles and draw yourself up and the arms out. So this happens on one breath in. And then as you exhale, it's almost like a balloon slowly deflating back down again. So the inhale, you feel the lungs and then you feel that expansion. The breath is orchestrating the movement, exhaling down. Like the ebb and the flow of the ocean, breathing in, breathing down, really fluid, soft movements. Make it a little bit bigger this time, inhaling, take the hands up towards the ceiling, stretch the spine, exhaling, slow release that balloon deflating down. Push the floor away with the shins, inhale. Inhaling, and then slowly coming down. Take your hands now, just draw them onto the ground. Stretch yourself out into an extended child pose with your fingers on the ground, but your wrists lifted. Take a moment here, roll shoulders away from your ears. Breathe up and down the spine again. So you really feel that lovely rhythm of the breath flowing through your spine. Come up onto hands and knees and allow yourself to come through a couple of cat and cows, but again, very, very conscious of the movement of the breath through the spine. That is what is instigating the movement through the body. Lifting the tail, rippling through to the crown, Tucking the tail, rippling out into the arch. Inhaling. We're going to pause there, toes tucking in. Slide yourself into a down dog, but via a kind of, I don't know what it says, a squatting dog. So let your tail be lifted and pulled back and up with the knees bent, shoulders away from your ears. So we create this really long spine and then, then take the heels down one at a time, get rid of that bolster. Massage through your feet, massage through your heels. If it feels good, drop the knees across the midline of the body. Keep the shoulders rolled right away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in and make a bit of noise as you exhale. Like a Massage right up and down over those feet. You want to get into the calf muscles and so give them a good press release. And we're going to bend the knees, take the toes wide on your mat, bring your big toes slightly in and walk yourself forward. Bend the knees and let your tummy just fold over your thighs here. Good. Holding on to your forearms. A tiny rock from side to side. We just want the weight of the arms and the head to traction the upper body. I'll tell you what's quite nice. Maybe just try this. I like to grab my fingers onto the hair 
just where it attaches into the nape of your neck. Grabbing hold of a bunch of hair, if your hair is not tied up in a, in a, a ponytail. And, and then you just let your hands and your elbows drop down. So you're kind of pulling the hair at the nape of your neck. Ah. And give yourself a little bounce. So nice solid feet on the ground. Weight is in the heels and you're kind of just jiggling here. Ah. So this is really calming on the nervous system. So we're squeezing all of the exhalation out of the lungs. Releasing tension in the upper body. Ah, and then just drop the hands down. I'm going to push the floor away, roll up a little bit, and then let the heart sink. And then push the back of the shoulders up towards the ceiling a bit more. And then let the heart sink down. Now use your feet to push the floor away, let the legs be dynamic. Slowly come up a bit further. And then let the heart sink. So now we are going into this wave-like movement, this undulation. Breathing in to inflate the body. Breathing out to deflate. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. Now this time, as you come up a little bit further, take your hand, one behind you, this is my right hand, and then the other hand behind you. So it's like your back is swimming now, up and behind you. Feet nice and wide, and then just make this a little bit more fluid. Remember, we've got these different muscle fibers, and we want to get into the, the ones that allow the nervous system to decompress. So now start to take your weight from one side to the other. So one knee bends and then the other knee bends and you kind of, you might slide your feet a little bit wider. And then remembering the elbows and the hands have such a profound effect on the shoulders. So let them be back into the paintbrush kind of action and let them start to flow across the midline of the body into a figure of eight. So lifting and rolling the shoulders, and you can just feel the body orchestrated by the breath flowing from side to side. This movement from side to side across the midline of the body is profoundly healing for the brain, cross-patterning for the brain. Ah, it feels so nice just kind of flopping. Now turn this into the big swish to bend the knees and then swish the hands. Fingers are nice and wide, and you're still in the ocean. Just imagine you're swishing your hands through a beautiful, clear sea. You can even imagine this phosphorescence. And as you swish, you get those lovely sparkles of light. Very good. That's it. And letting that go now. Ah, give yourself a little rinse out. Turn the toes in, hands on the hip flexors, bend the knees, fold yourself forward. Now, if your bolster is not too far away, so you can grab it, so your hands can go on the bolster. And the idea is to turn yourself into a triangle. So fingers out in front. Toes are slightly in, so the little toe edge is pressing into the mat. Big toes are slightly angled inwards. Imagine someone's got your tail and they're pulling your imaginary tail back and up. And at the same time, you're pulling your fingers forward. So the whole body feels like it's on the rack, you're getting a whole body stretch. Ah. That's it. And then drop the hands down, just bend the knees as much as you need to, let the head drop. Forward fold, deep breath in, make a bit of noise as you let the breath out. Ah, very good. Now as gracefully as you can, bring your knees to the ground. And again, we're just gonna take the hips from one side to the other, release them, release them. Release them. 
Give them a circle. Lovely. And then slide onto your belly. Or oh, one hand on top of the other hand, forehead resting on the back of the hands. Toes in, heels out. So give your feet a little swish. Heels in and then out, in and then out. And then leave the heels out and the toes are in. So we've got space across the sacrum. And just rock your hips from side to side. So you kind of jiggle your pelvis. And breathe in. And as you breathe out, try and make a buzzy bee humming sound. Nice long exhalation. Massaging the intestines. Great constipation. Great just to really ground the body. Buzzy bee breath for extra measure. Very good. Give your feet a little tap. Ah, okay. And peel yourself over onto your back. Ah, well done. Well done. Arms and legs up towards the ceiling. Give them a jiggle. Uh, give your jaw a jiggle. You have just rinsed out all of the stuff. Imagine all of these somatic practices have just been like a reboot to the computer. Setting yourself back into neutral. Ah, there we go. Take your bolster, slide it underneath your pelvis, sorry, underneath your thighs and knees. And then if you grab a blanket and put it over you, you want to have your knees quite wide on your prop. But it's really nice to have the thighs lifted. If you've got any twinginess in your lower back, it tends to take care of it. And then palms up, shoulders right down, maybe a blanket under your head if need be. And just make sure that the, the torso is right back in the middle of your knees. Ah, that's it. So we're going to just spend five minutes relaxing and integrating the practice. Make sure you're warm. If you've got an extra blanket to put over your feet, please do that. Ah, oh, good. So just becoming aware of your body, just underneath the skin surface. So allow your mind just to sink into your body. And really feel into the tips of your toes. Be very aware of the crown of your head. And that kind of pulse of energy just underneath the skin surface from the top to the bottom of your body. And to make that a bit stronger, take the attention now just up into the crown of your head and just underneath the skin surface. And imagine that like if you had a power shower on the crown of your head, there's a tingling, warming, vibration, kind of a swirling sensation. I like to imagine that just like those sparkling lights of phosphorescence or sunset on the ocean, that sparkling of light, there's this massaging sparkling of light at the crown of the head. And then focusing on your exhalations and as you breathe out, just allowing that feeling to flow down in the inside of your skull. Imagine the sparkling lights are flowing down and relaxing your brain, and relaxing down around the temple and into the cheeks, around the eye sockets, and down into the jaw. The lovely sparkling lights are expanding, flowing. So the whole of the head and the neck area Round into the upper back feels like it's sparkling and relaxing and softening. Feeling those sparkling lights expanding and spreading now and going around the shoulder sockets, swirling around the upper back, around the chest, 
swirling and spreading down now through the chest and flowing down through both arms, expanding and swirling around the elbows and the wrists, palms of the hands feeling warm with the sparkling, swirling little lights, feeling that warmth swirling around the torso, into the belly, into the lower back, massaging wherever there are points that feel congested. Feel the little sparkling lights swirling with your breath in your mind's eye. Down into hips, flushing around the hip joints, around the power of floor muscles, feeling total relaxation around the buttocks, the pelvic floor and the thighs, swirling, light increasing now as they flow down through thighs and then start to flush around the knees, any tension around the legs softening as the spreading light now flows down into calf muscles, Massaging calves down through shin bones into the ankles, flushing around the ankles and through the soles of the feet and the tops of the feet and through the toe. And allowing now the whole body to feel washed clean with your gentle awareness whole body lit up with the sparkling lights flowing with each breath, massaging around the prana, the life force, all lit up. And you're feeling the body softening, becoming heavier and just surrendering into deep relaxation. I'm just feeling so relaxed now that no movement occurs. There's just no holding anywhere in the body. The body is so relaxed, there is no physical movement. And allowing the tongue to become very heavy as the whole body relaxes. And then as the tongue becomes more heavy, noticing the body can relax even more. Start to watch the rise and fall of your belly, tiny rippling movement that synchronizes with the breath. And then starting to breathe a tiny bit more deeply in. Just a tiny bit so it feels like that coolness sliding down the back of your throat it's just touching the lungs. And the warmth leaves the body. And then just nudge the edge of that comfortable breath, taking a tiny bit more air into your lungs. And then a bit more. So almost like a balloon, bit by bit, expanding with each inhalation. Now see if you can feel the lungs expanding just a tiny bit more. And then start to feel that lovely enlivening sensation flowing out from the lungs through arms and legs. 
right down through into fingers and toes and up into the brain. Just feeling that pulse, that ripple, that ebb and flow. Even though there's no external movement, there's all sorts of movement on the inside. And then allowing the velocity of that inhalation to increase a little bit more so that the feeling does go right down through fingers and toes and you want to just give them a bit of a wriggle, right? a bit of movement into fingers and toes. And just pressing the thumb to the first finger, second finger, third finger, little finger. And take your hands together and put the palms together and just really feel the hands, the palm pressing into the palm. And then just a tiny bit, just rub the hands just a little bit up and down. And then start to relax your hands and rub a bit more. Really feeling the sensation of the hands pressing against each other and rub a bit more. So now we want to create a bit of heat kinetic energy, a little bit of heat and maybe a little bit faster to get the hemispheres of the brain waking up and just to create this lovely energy between the hands, fast rubbing. Take the hands up towards the face and then just take the hands apart for a moment and feel the lovely little tingly vibration between the parts of the hands. A little play with that. Put the hands a little bit further apart. And then just move the hands over the eyes. And you don't even need to squash the hands to the eyes. It's almost as if you just let fingertips touch around the eye sockets. And you can feel that the warmth, vibration of the energy that you've just created between your hands. And just give your hands a little pulse towards your eyes. And then massage gently with fingertips just down the face. Ah, onto the jaw. Lovely. And then take your hands into the heart centre for a moment. And just saying to yourself, thank you. Well done. Thank you for thank you for showing up. I'm going to get you to give yourself a little stretch. And then bring knees to chest and Roll to whichever side feels most comfortable. And when you come up, just press the hands into the ground and be very, very fluid. So be aware of the water content of your body. So you can keep that, that feeling of wave-like movement. And just come and sit for a moment. Visualize the spine. So we've been creating space between the vertebrae. And stack the spine. And then find the sweet spot where the head just sits perfectly on top of the neck and there's no holding. So you can find that spot. And let the shoulders just be open and relaxed. Just noticing the muscles of the face, the lower jaw, the tongue, how your eyes feel. Ah, yeah. Put the hands into the heart center. Can just take a moment again. Thank yourself for coming and practicing. Practice. Namaste.